When you look at Justin Trudeau and the entire liberal guys, they seem to have one thing in common aside from knowing how to lie shamelessly to Canadians and dodge responsibilities for their autocratic acts. And it's that they are also quite skilled at promoting their narcissistic agenda aimed at compelling population obedience and total control under the pretense of caring for and protecting Canadians from one thing or another. Once again, the Trudeau liberals are at it, doing what they know best. And this time around, they've made it appear quite evident, even though in a rather subtle way, that the bill about online hate speech is an indirect approach to regulate free speech and have total control over what Canadians can and cannot say or do in the online space. And you will agree with me that when one of the most secretive and least transparent governments we've had in the history of Canada wants badly to have control over the internet information, then it's clear that Canada's democracy and Canadians' freedom of speech is in for a rough time. We've got yet another of the Liberal government bullshit to reveal to you in today's video, but before we jump right into the discussion, welcome to Front Page News, a channel dedicated to bringing you the latest news updates without the ill-concealed and abundant hypocrisy of the left-wing and mainstream media. Please take a little out of your time to support our channel and our content by liking this video, sharing it with other people, and subscribing to the channel so you never miss any of our regular video updates. So here's what's happening, guys. A panel of experts appointed by the Liberal Heritage Minister Pablo Rodriguez is helping to shape the future laws of Canada as regards online hate speeches. That has stated that disinformation, including deep fake videos and bots spreading deception, should come within the scope of a future online harm bill. And if you're wondering what deep fake videos are, they refer to fake videos or photos that use deep learning technology, which creates highly realistic looking counterfeit images. Public Safety Minister Marco Mendocino said in an interview that technology is now so sophisticated that some fake images and content are virtually indistinguishable from genuine content, making it very difficult for people to tell the difference. The Liberal Minister further mentioned that a whole government approach spanning several departments was needed to tackle the spread of disinformation in Canada. In his words during the interview, he said, We are at a crucial juncture in our public discourse. We are seeing an increasing amount of misinformation and disinformation informed by extremist ideology. I mean, this is so funny and silly. Here is a chronic sinner who is at the forefront of being guilty of the same crime he's preaching against. For me, I think this is too many words coming from a dishonest individual and core agent of misinformation and disinformation like Marco Mendocino. Because we all know about the Freedom Convoy protesters' fate earlier this year, the Trudeau Liberals invoked the Emergencies Act on Canadians who were trying to have a civil discussion with the Prime Minister about the mandates. Instead, the Canadian government unleashed a brutal war measures act on them. When asked why the Liberals really invoked the Emergencies Act, they all repeatedly lied to the public that the police department asked for it. However, all police leaders and witnesses from the police departments have refuted such claims. But guess who co-championed the perpetual lies and all the misinformation? Yeah, you guessed right, it was Marco Mendocino. On another occasion of the apparent liberals' misinformation and media lies take their COVID narrative for one. The liberal government has proved to be nothing but an embodiment of disinformation. The Rodriguez-appointed expert panel also said that not only should a bill tackle online abuse, including child abuse, but it should also consider fake and misleading information online. This could include coordinated disinformation campaigns leveraged to create, spread, and amplify disinformation, including the use of bots, bot networks, inauthentic accounts, and deep fakes. The experts also mentioned that the bill should also address false advertising, misleading political communications, and content that contributes to unrealistic body image. And several related online platforms would have a duty to act to address harmful content online, which includes disinformation by conducting risk assessments of content that can cause significant physical or psychological harm to individuals. Well, I think it has gotten clearer now that all the rants and advocacy for hate laws by the Trudeau Liberal government really don't have anything to do with hate. It's all about shutting up those with a different opinion of the Liberal government. The Liberal government obviously is scared of Canadians' freedom of speech, and they would stop at nothing to clamp down such a potent weapon of evaluating its narcissistic and autocratic government policies. And that answers why exactly Justin Trudeau and his Liberals guys are still intense on smashing the independent media that aim at exposing their autocracy and hypocrisy despite owning and controlling most of the legacy media like the CBC. Although, some experts on the panel had warned that measures to address disinformation must be carefully worded so the Canadian government cannot abuse it to justify censorship of journalism or criticism. But of course, we all know this is only some people's world against many. The minority may have their say, but the majority always have their way. The Trudeau Liberals would stop at nothing to achieve their complete censorship of Canadians and whatever they do in their online space. They keep patronizing the people of Canada with the agenda of helping to create a safe space online to protect Canadians, but they are not being trustworthy with it, and it's not the first time.
We've all seen how the Trudeau Liberal government has proven countless times that the people of Canada can't trust it. So it isn't coming as a surprise to see them repeating the same thing about protecting Canadians' interests and being caring when in the actual sense, these guys are out to protect their selfish interests and self-aggrandizement. We are gradually tilting towards authoritarianism in Canada, and the Liberal government keeps cheering it on. There is going to be a big problem when we leave this government to start deciding what hate speech or misinformation is or is not. They set the standard, and you can bet that even what is true would eventually be tagged as disinformation. If this bill should become the law, Canada would no longer be a free country. That's all for today, guys. Please let us know your opinion on this in the comments section below. Also, make sure to leave a like for this video, share it with as many people as possible and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for our next upload. You should also check some of our other videos and leave a comment. Thanks for watching.